and Nitro's Garage for all your automotive needs. Call 646-675-2349. That's 646-675-2349. For all your automotive needs, Nitro's Garage, ask for Jack. Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. Hi, it's Josh from Under the Table Hot Sauce. I'm here with my friend, the star of the show, Jimmy Farrow. Yeah, what's up, JB? Nah, nothing. It's been a hot summer, and for all your barbecue needs, you can go to UndertheTableHotSauce.com. 13 unique flavors to choose from. Created and bottled in a Long Island kitchen, under the table hot sauce dot com. Let's go chow, JB. Let's do it. All the flavor, twice the burn. I mean, he's playing cards on Crockett's plane with Dennis Condry, right? And they're playing cards on a little fold down table in between the sh seats, and all of a sudden, man, he just he goes, oh, and he. Kind of bends over sideways. He puts his hand up to his ribs, kind of rubbing his side. Dennis told me this right after he did it, right? And I said, what was he doing? And Manny said, well, no, it's just some shrapnel I've still got from Nam. <laughs> he wasn't in fucking Nam. And he wasn't the fucking NFL football player on the Dolphins or Tampa or whatever the fuck Manny Fernetti. But that's what I'm talking about, you know, that type of stuff. An American hero. And a treasure. Can we stand? Mr. Manny Fernandez. Can we stand for Manny? We can stand I'm for Manny Fernandez. I'm standing for Manny's service. Oh. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys, man. You are no. welcome. It's a great so, night. Thank you, Got a you, damn dear sir. friend next to me. Thank and you. And there's very few of us left of the old generation that we'd like to hang on to and, you know, watch us carry on. Because there's very few of us left to carry on in this great professional support. wrestling, not professional entertaining. We're Understood. talking about professional wrestling, okay? Yep, the real deal. Let's well, get the real before deal. we real get deal. into the professional yeah. wrestling, I want to thank you, sir, for your service yes, and sir. the honor of being able to have someone defend this country like you have. And we want to say thank you from the Monty and the Faro Show and all its listeners. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go, Jim Cornette. Call me uh, Stolen Valor again to my face. <laughs> that was a tough guy, huh, Jim Cornette? What is that all about, man? You know, he's running his mouth once, you know. And, of course, I got in a lot of trouble for it. But he went out there on Facebook and said I was Stolen Valor never served. So I posted my service in Southeast Asia on Facebook and my better half beat the living crap out of me for saying, why would you have to prove to somebody that stupid who you really are? Wow. This guy's no tougher than a bowl of uh, tapioca pudding. <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't beat up a bowl of tapioca pudding, much less going to be like you. Please, did you don't ever be that stupid again. <laughs> Manny, did you pick up the phone and address him for this bullshit, you know, his attitude? I mean, what is nah, this? Nah, you know, after I got chewed out by the woman. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. About okay. being an idiot and posting my be record. Be the better person. Yeah. I got you. She said be the better person. Be, you around in that. There you are. You know, there ain't no excuse for ignorance. Is no, the no. That's for Hell's damn no. sure. Yeah. Hell's no. And you know what? You know, when you cross the line over, you know, scripted professional wrestling and then challenge a man yeah, on his, his real life and what his real value, valor, it's a big problem yeah. in my book. Yep. Yep. Thank Look, you. Manny, today's youth, right? A lot of them don't even understand the sacrifices of gentlemen like yourself Clueless. and Vietnam. Clueless. Right? Time has passed. It doesn't matter. They're all on their iPhones. I think it's important. I know for me, I know for my family and my friends, that people are aware of what you've done for this country. I know this could be very difficult for you to speak about, and I understand if you don't want to speak about it. Please consider that. But I think... Please. This is yep. a time where Mr. Fernandez shares with the fans out there Please. what he did for this country in Vietnam. You know, I'm going to tell you, uh, this morning, when we were waiting on Tommy, uh, me and my girl, we went out to eat at a uh, diner up here in New Jersey, Pacific, New Jersey. And I was eating at the diner, and uh, a guy come up to me, and he said, thank you for your service, sir. And I noticed he was wearing a collar. 
I noticed he was a Catholic priest. Mm. And I said, oh, my God, thank you, sir, very much. I truly appreciate it. He says, I'm here to honor this World War II vet. And I looked over. He says, oh, my God. I almost fell to my knees and kissed his hand. That's a World War II veteran, almost 100 years old. And he come over to my table, the priest then, and he's in the, probably in his 90s, and to thank me for my service. And I was like, geez, please, it's a God-given honor to honor this man. World War II vet still alive. You know, that's unbelievable. Their sacrifice and what they did to protect this nation during that period against Germany and Japan. That is the biggest honor in the world that ever was given probably to me today by that priest and that gentleman coming up to me. You know, but Manny, how hard is it for you to uh, digest the injustice and disrespect towards the Vietnam vet? I have a shirt um, that got presented to me by a few people that says, Vietnam vet never again, never forgotten. And that means a lot. I won't wear it a lot of places because it affects, it affects, <laughs> it affects me differently. We're here with you, brother. Absolutely, man. God bless you, man. God bless you for sure. Mm. Right. But it's I, I sit here with Manny. It's an honor, uh, you know, the sacrifices they make. I mean, not only do they go defend the country, but they let their their families are left behind. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's just uh, and, and 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 like you said, a lot of folks don't respect that the the sacrifices these guys have made, and and it, you know, to sit here with Manny, uh, you know, defended our country and and become a professional wrestler. I mean, he's had a full life, and and. He's told me a couple of stories, and it, 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 I'm getting goosebumps sitting here, mm. sitting here right now, just thinking about it. You but know, um, the hardest thing to deal with is uh, seeing vets homeless. I'm very, you know, I'm service connected, very well taken care of. The VA, I've had uh, all my surgeries done. Last year, I've had five major surgeries, over half a million dollars in surgeries, and not a dime out of my pocket. So I'm very blessed for that. But to see homeless vets that are suffering because I get a lot of help for my uh, PTSD. I get a lot of help. I haven't, you know, I got great doctors. I play around with them. You know, I got one, I, his name is uh, uh, Pedro Palomino, and I call him Little Peppy. <laughs> hey, Little Peppy, what's up, my brother? <laughs> what are we doing today, Little Peppy? <laughs> you know, I get into it with him, we do the thing, but um, uh, it's hard to see that. The disrespect some people have that don't understand it. It's not over when you come home. Mm. It's not over ever. 